Hi, I'm Dr. Cheryl Wanka, a teacher in the Westchester University English Department and a proud member of APSCUF, the Faculty Union for the State System of Higher Education. I just want to take a minute and explain to you why health care is one of our major concerns in this negotiations process. Currently, the sides differ on how much professors should pay for health care and whether the university should provide health care for retirees. You probably already know someone who can't afford health care, so you could see why faculty would care about this. The Chancellor's been saying that faculty are just being asked to make the same sacrifice as other employees, but this is just not true. Our faculty already play more for their health care than any other state employee in Pennsylvania. Additionally, if professors do not use all their health care money they contribute in a year, the, the state system gets to keep any extra. So you could see why the Chancellor would be interested in keeping health care contributions high. Also, since many administrators have a Me Too clause in their contracts that gets them the same health care coverage that faculty get, the faculty are essentially fighting the administrators' battles for them. For retirees, the Chancellor's idea is to give future faculty lump sums to buy their own insurance, but that doesn't mean they're going to be able to afford insurance. We're being asked to accept a retirement where we may run out of money for serious illnesses. Perhaps you have a grandparent or other relative who's in this situation. Now, the Chancellor's staff has recently put out some bad information about health care bargaining. They say that the sy state system of higher education has negotiated health care contracts with uh, some of its other unions, but again, this is not true. The state government negotiated those contracts, not the state sy system of higher education, and they have not accepted the many suggestions that faculty have put on the table. We all know that health care is getting very expensive and is changing as the Affordable Care Act gets going. We want to do our part. But taking advantage of the negotiations process by inflating costs to employees, hurting retirees, and spreading misinformation is just not the way to resolve differences. Please contact the Chancellor to tell him to settle this contract now and avert a strike.